Hello and welcome to part nine of our for, uh, Photoshop tutorials. Um, and I think it's the last one for now, unless I can think of something else to do. Uh, this is not me. Uh, this is a, a photo that I just grabbed off the internet. Actually, I grabbed it from a great website called Pixels. I'll just show it to you real quick. Um, it's uh, just free photos that you can use for personal or commercial use. And like back in my day when I was a graphic designer, you used to have to pay for this. And you paid a lot of money for, uh, for images. And I just did a, a, a search under man and portrait. And uh, up cup came this guy. And these are, you could, yeah, you can use them for uh, commercial use or, or whichever. So um, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy uh, with that. Uh, so let's go back to Photoshop. And then um, I'm going to start actually... Uh, you would think that I was going to be making fun of this guy, um, but um, yeah, maybe I am. But I'm doing it uh, guilt-free because he put his face online. So I'm just going to uh, introduce you to the Liquify tool. Liquify tool is a lot of fun if you want to, uh, say if you've got like a, uh, in my, a project in my class where you have to make the possible impossible possible, like uh, making uh, like aliens land on uh, on earth and then you want to make your friends look like an alien well the the liquify tool is a great way of doing that so you find that up here at the top it's under filter and liquify and so that boots up like a little interface here and where you can uh, it, think of it like you're working with um, finger paint and you can just start to distort uh, everything like finger paint. For example, I've got the, the finger, uh, the, the top one here, it's called the forward warp tool, but it kind of looks like a finger going through the finger paint. Um, and if I were just to take this and I would just start to smear it, kind of like that, okay? Yeah, yeah, kind of cool. And so uh, let's back up here. Um, and so really, if I were to make my brush uh, bigger, Actually, before actually I, before I get into that, uh, I'm just gonna take it. We're gonna just start taking that ear, and let's just like, okay, and then uh, maybe uh, make that brush just a little bit bigger, uh, about like a oh that's too much. Let's see about there, and we're just gonna take his nose. Okay, um, so that's just the, uh, uh, the just the. Uh, what is it called? The forward warp tool. Um, let's make this uh, much bigger. Let's go about 250. And then we're just going to, we can take his hair, give him like, and then we can take his hairline, bring that back down. And then just give him kind of like the Spock look here or something. Okay. Uh, that's the top of my picture. If I had more, I would actually do there, do more. There we go. Um, then the next thing that you can do, it's going to be tough because he's got glasses on, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, this here is the pucker tool. So if you say if you want to make his, uh, you know, exactly that pucker. Uh, let's make it there. And then we're just go in here and just make his lips. Yeah, he is puckering. He's having uh, some lemons. Um, and then the... Uh, uh, and this is the bloat tool and so what it does is just is, if you've ever seen that Adam Sandler movie uh, called um, what's it where the one where he's got uh, he's like in charge of a hotel bedtime stories and there's this rabbit or a, a guinea pig that has these big buggy eyes this is kind of what we're doing here like that's gross that's kind of gross, okay? And then let's just give him a big chin. Uh, this brush is too big for that. Let's just bring it down, give him a big chin, okay? All right, so he, I wouldn't say he's looking like an alien, but he's certainly um, not looking like something from this world. So we've got the distort tool or the liquify tool down. There's a lot of other little tools here, but those are the main ones. And so let's, uh, let's take this one step further. I'm going to hit okay and it's going to activate these changes. Okay. So, th so that's where I was 
and that's where we're going. Um, let's take it one step further. I'm going to isolate this his face, and I'm just going to do it real quick with the um, uh, with the uh, lasso tool here, and I'm just going to go along here. You know what? Maybe it's a good uh, opportunity. I wonder if I could do it with the uh, magic wand tool, uh, or actually, I could have done it with the Let's do it with the magnetic lasso tool and see how it does along there. So we come around and then we could stick to that. Oh, that'd probably work pretty good. And let's just loop around and see how that went. Not bad. Okay, we're gonna stick with that. And then we're gonna go down to there, the shirt line there. It's gonna get a little fuzzy there. That's okay. And then oh, a nice contrast there. And then we're going to go along here. Might have to fix up that business, but you know, it's not too bad. And then um, uh, let's isolate his eyes. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just hold down the Alt key. And we're going to do that. I'm going to have to fix that up for sure. Yep. Shouldn't have even bothered. Okay. Let's just go in there. Whoa. Sorry if that scared you. And we're just going to fix that up. And then we're going to chop that off. And then holding down the Alt key for this. Okay, move, holding down the space bar to move over here. And we're going to do that. Um, I, already have, I already have this selected. Um, I'm just going to... There we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And finish it off. Okay. Now let's just go and we're going to add to this one. This one's holding down the shift key. Okay, that's good enough. Um, so now uh, in a, in a uh, new layer, I'm just going to fill it. Let's fill it with some green color. Okay, so I'm just going to go to here, pick a green. There we go. Pick a green, edit and fill. Whoops, edit and fill. And fill with foreground color. Now, uh, let's get rid of that selection. Deselect. And let's just start messing with the uh, our, our blending modes. So let's see, what does overlay do? That's pretty cool. That's scary. Um, what the uh, overlay that works too? Color, yeah, he's a little nuclear there. I kind of like the multiply over the because it looks actually a little bit more realistic. Um, the overlay, yeah, we're still going with the multiply though. There and actually, if I were to lighten up his face, I could I could definitely do that. Um, actually, I'm going to soften up these edges. I'm just going to use the brush tool. And I'm just going to just go along with the brush here on these edges here. And just going to just blend those in a little bit with that same color. Um, and because he's got that hairline, and the hairline isn't. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm a little freaked out. Um, and then uh, let's just make his eyes glow. I know I realize that it's probably gonna cheapen it a little bit, but I just want to show it to you anyways. Uh, let's just take, let's sit in a new layer here. Okay, and then uh, we're just going to, actually I'll do it with the uh, elliptical tool here. Holding the middle, holding down the Alt key, and that way I can go from the middle. Okay. And then this one, holding down the Alt key again, uh, but with a shift. Oh, it didn't let me do it. Maybe, uh, okay, let's do shift and then do the Alt. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then, okay, so new layer. Uh, his eyes are glowing, so let's pick like a red. And then we're going to fill that in. This won't look as good. That you get, You're not going to get much better than that green. And then let's uh, let's go with like overlay again, and then or what about like um, color dodge? Yeah, well, no overlay again. Okay, kind of cool. Um, let's let's back it off a little bit. 
So, you know, you don't want it to be look too perfect. Um, another thing I could do, I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. I, I want to make his eyes glow. I want to see if I can do that. So I'm going to do it one eye at a time. Uh, let's add a blur to them to make, make them, let's go blur, Gaussian blur, to give them like a rough edge. And you can't necessarily see it, so I'm going to send it back to normal. And let's just get rid of this just so I can cut. Whoa! So that's what I've done. Blur, Gaussian blur. Add a little bit more blur here. Okay. And then let's add that in. And then I'm going to make them full strength. And then look them, and then like color dodge now. All right, and then let's uh, just back it off a little bit. Uh, just trying to give it a little bit more of a glow look to it. Um, it it's working. You know, you could spend all day uh, on this. It, it, that actually uh, is pretty cool. Uh, going from the that original to uh, adding the liquify, and then adding just adding that color in was really cool. And that adding those eyes and just we we made it kind of spooky looking. Um, certainly a uh, goblin type of look. So that's your uh, that's your tutorial. Uh, that's your liquify tool. Uh, good luck.